Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, I wanted to bring you a follow-up video to my earlier video on the Android 12L update to the Surface Duo and Surface Duo 2 devices. Before we get any further in the video, I would like to thank each and every one of you for tuning in and subscribing to the channel. It really means so much to me to know that you guys care enough about what I have to say to stick around. Now, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, now would be a perfect time to do so. If you subscribe to the channel, it allows the YouTube algorithm to let everyone else know that I am somebody that you're interested in, and it might be somebody they're interested in. Every subscription helps, every like helps, and I appreciate every single one. So as you guys saw in my previous video, I went through the process of updating both the Surface Duo and the Surface Duo 2 to Android 12L. Now, since then, I have been carrying both devices around with me to see if there were any differences in this latest update. I found a few differences in the settings of the devices, but that's not the point of today's video. The biggest issues I've had with the Android 12L update on both my Duo and my Duo 2 are with notifications. The notifications for me on both devices have tended to not populate at all until I wake the device from sleep. Now, while I have Do Not Disturb turned on on a schedule on both devices, I started noticing things where I would pick up my Surface Duo 2 and I would look at it, and all of a sudden it would just start pouring updates down. You know, you got a notification for this, somebody's at your front door, but it was all stuff that happened like hours before when the phone was sitting in the same room as the Android devices that I saw these updates on. So I started doing some digging. And I also reached out to some of my fellow Surface Duo people, mainly Shane over at Scary If Literal. He had the exact same issues with his Surface devices. His solution was this. Download the Android 12L update from Microsoft. Now you're going to end up having to sideload it, uh, which doesn't take a whole lot of work. And the complete instruction sheet I'll have linked down in the description below. But basically, you download this file, you run a command in the command prompt, and it pushes the update straight to your phone. Now, unlike reloading the operating system on your computer, this does not wipe your phone. But you have to wipe your phone. So the next step is completely wiping the phone and starting over from scratch. Now on both of my phones, I went through and I restored from the backup that I had online. So the next step is to make sure that all of your apps are not set to auto update. If you want a more comprehensive how to on all of this, I think Shane over at Scary If Literal has a video detailing exactly what he's had to do. He was kind enough to share the steps with me on Twitter. And so I went through all these steps and I can say that for the most part, the issue is resolved if you sideload the update, wipe your device, reinstall all your apps from scratch, and don't let them auto update. Not letting the apps auto update will allow you to update them one by one to find out where the actual issue lies. It's been an experience. And knowing that I'm not the only person that's had this issue, I was hoping that this last update, which I have installed, just came out, I've installed it. And I was hoping that this most recent update would at least address some of the issues that I've had on the original Surface Duo. Hasn't resolved a single thing. As a matter of fact, on my original Surface Duo, I am still having issues that I had when the Duo first came out and it was running Android 10. So I'll open the device and fold one side over and sometimes the right screen will work. And sometimes the right screen won't work. Sometimes if it's been sitting on my desk for a while and I just pick it up, I can't get anything more than the peak menu to show up. It will not unlock until I've folded the phone back, closed, and open again. 
little bugs, little issues, but they all start to add up. I was really hoping that with this latest update, Microsoft could have finally gotten their stuff together and worked out most of the bugs. But enough about my experience. I want to hear from you. I know a lot of you that watch my channel either had the Surface Duo or the Surface Duo 2. And I want to know, since Android 12L, have you been experiencing any issues with notifications not coming through, with the screens acting wonky, anything like that? If you have, please leave them in the comments down below because I would love to hear from you and I would love to talk more about this. So again, I'd like your thoughts and your comments on the latest update from Microsoft on the Surface Duo and Duo 2. I'd love to hear what you have to say and how the updates have affected your device. Speaking of comments and questions on the channel, I wanted to bring this one up. Dustin Kent asked if there was any application that would allow him to drag and drop a picture into something like a note situation like Samsung Notes. Now, I tried this with Google Keep and was able to drag and drop pictures quite easily into a note situation. Uh, if you were going to use something to edit, I use Canva on the phone. I use Snapseed if I want to edit the colors and things like that. And um, you can even use Photoshop. They have that in there. Now, if you guys have any better suggestions for Dustin, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And Dustin, I appreciate your comment. and Please keep them coming. So this is just a really quick video. I wanted to let you guys know that I haven't disappeared. Uh, there's been a lot of stuff going on in my personal life. Mainly, I got married. So that's why I've been kind of off the grid as far as videos are concerned. I'm going to make that up to you. I am going to have videos coming out from now until the holidays. So if you guys would like some ideas of what to get your friends, your kids, and your significant other this holiday season, let me know in the comments down below, and I can come out with a video that can help out almost any budget. So as the channel gets closer and closer to 1,200 subscribers, I just wanted to say thank you for tuning in and sticking with me. It's so much fun coming up with these ideas and getting feedback from you guys. It really does mean the world to me that you're interested in what I have to say. As always, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video as much as I have making it. My name is Bryant. This is Reviews for Nerds. Have a great day. Thank you.